Hey everybody, uh, if you arrived at this channel, you probably already know um, what this is going to be about. Uh, so many people modding their RK1 cabinets. I decided to just uh, get you know ideas from all over the place that I've found and uh, with a few tweaks make my own. But um, first, shout out to everybody out there that's always been on uh, working on modding these units. Um, by default, in only three games, we always want to do a little bit more. Uh, so I decided to uh, play my modding game here and get what I have here. Um, again, shout out to everybody. I started with ETA, ETA Prime's video to begin with and just kind of worked my way from there. Read a lot of stuff on Reddit on where to get and whatnot and kind of came up with what I have now. I just wanted to get a video out just to um, show everybody what I have. And, and uh, there is a link... Well, links on the description to all the parts that I used on this uh, if you want to uh, buy those I don't have affiliate links or anything and just kind of help everybody out there uh, sorry about the light over there it's just that I'm gonna get to the back of the cabin there's not much light and uh, I want to make sure you guys see what I have so uh, just get started really quick um, I chose the red and blue buttons like ETS Prime's videos originally said um, and I went ahead and I added the two extra buttons right here not on top because I have the plexiglass cover that Arcade One sent me for protection, you know, on the board. I didn't want to drill holes here. Just trying to kind of keep this as stock as possible. I added these two. I just ran wires from in there to here um, to get this, uh, be able to reach down over here. And I just drill holes with this with a step bit uh, drill that I have the link for on the description. Um, anyways, you notice here, which I'll get to it later, I have a different on off power button here and I'll get to why I have it's a push button on off kind of like this button but a little different button and I'll get to it why I have this instead of the switch like which is normally what this guy is so let's get to the back and kind of go over what I have here as far as setup goes uh, okay so um, we all know originally everybody's probably got the same board LCD board for the HDMI out and your um, control board, which you don't really use it, is just um, for you to be able to see whether it's on or off and you have your inputs, which it's already set on HDMI. Um, first thing that I did that you notice is that because of the cable that I'm using, which is on the description, it's pretty thick. I kind of thought it was going to be bending this board too much if I um, left it uh, facing down. So I got a 270 degree adapters right over here which will go all the way to my pod, which is here of another 270 degree adapter right here on the side. This is just a little touch that I have. I was picky about it. When I use this cord instead, I did that. Uh, over here, you will see my first little, again, shout out to everybody out there that's doing all these research and I was able to find this and buy it. This little guy right here is a Malsbury uh, circuit board. And what this does is that it will actually kind of be like kind of like a like switch basically which leads to the power switch on the on the top of the board on the other side and uh, when you combine this into a cycle with everything else that I have here when I hit the power switch this tells the Pi to turn on which in this case with this cord will send a signal to the IOT relay right here which will signal the LCD monitor to turn on and the USB hub which I'm using which I'll get to in a second to flip on um, Process backwards, the same thing. When I hit the button there, the mouse barrel pie will shut down the pie. The pie will send a signal to this that it's off. This is where the actual pie is, which is the always on port. It will shut these guys all officially be off. It's not just uh, on a, like the pie is shut down mode. It will actually be completely shut down. I don't want it to stay on when I'm not using it. Uh, you can find on Reddit, I believe that's where I found a lot of help I got from the folks out there. I was asking questions on with the, I had a little issue with the mouse barrel uh, circuit board which I'll get to in a second what happened to me and why I switched the power um, switch on the other side uh, but anyways before I get there uh, this is um, USB cords from uh, the arcade controller so there's two here over here I have a USB hub which is let's see if I get this thing to focus Ugh, there it is um, that's where I have the Dell speaker which is in the back which uh, connects to the USB now this is a powered hub which is what this port is. Um, I just decided to go with a USB. You can control the volume through the um, uh, through the software, whether using um, 
a track mode or emulation station you cannot control the volume through the knob here but I like that it's just a USB I prefer that over analog um, and it works great uh, just make sure it's powered I don't want to take all the power away from the Pi so I connect it into a power USB hub which works great uh, you see here that I actually have a board here uh, I got that idea from somebody on Reddit talked about uh, going to Home Depot and uh, building an 18 by 17 and 3 quarters board so you can use it kind of like as a stand. I mean, I don't have anything mounted here because I already had pretty much done with everything else and I think this worked out for me okay. I could probably mount the Pi here somewhere and move things around but I'm okay with this. I use Velcro straps on the Pi and Velcro straps in here as well uh, to get these secured. Here I used um, some um, double-sided tape that I had, but everybody uses the same thing, and these are just double-sided tape. Um, other than that, I mean, the reason I have that is because I have my keyboard, so normally I want to just leave the keyboard here in case I need to do anything within the Pi interface and all that if I exit. I can just get to this keyboard, I can leave it here on top. On the bottom I just put every everything that I used, so it's kind of like two separate sections, but anyways. And last thing is, uh, before I get back to the door, I have a question. I um, put a Velcro straps on the panel, and Velcro straps right here, so it's easier for you to just pull the board. I don't want to be screwing these in and out. Kind of annoying keeping a uh, screwdriver just to get these things out from here. So this is simpler, and uh, I did make a little hole over there on the bottom so that the power cord, which is coming down from there, I made a little cut, will come down here and just come to the side right there. So, good enough. Now, one last thing before you notice, uh, before I close this video out, but you see that I only have uh, these cords going to the buttons. So, other than the Mouseberry cord, I mean the, the wire, and then the other button all the way in the back there, uh, I was able to arrange everything underneath the arcade so that I was actually able to close it. So, I have the original plastic piece there. Here. And it was a pain in the butt, I'll tell you that, but I was able to do it. And in order to do that, I had to extend the cords, I mean the wires for the buttons right here. The LEDs were able to reach all the way to that, but these I used some uh, butt plugs to extend it. The original wires, I cut them and I extend them all the way to the buttons. So uh, it worked out okay. You know, you can see here it's just hanging, but again, I'm not going to look on the back. Uh, to give you an idea where sort of I mounted these, uh, one of them is mounted like right here, like this. And then since the speaker is here, the other one is mounted like this right here. So I was able to just kind of route them this way and run everything out. It was a big pain in the butt. Now, why am I using this button? Uh, the Mosberry board that I received has an issue. The board is supposed to recognize whether you have a on-off switch kind of like this or a button switch. Mine is not recognizing being a on-off switch like this. So, uh, but it recognizes the button. So, in other words, I have to change it and it works just fine. I contacted Mouseberry, but they have not got back to me. They, I don't know if they're ignoring me, whatever it is. I just gonna probably keep the button uh, instead of just going the other uh, the other route because it looks pretty good. What I did is that I, the button normally is like this, so I made it uh, kind of like perpendicular to the hole, and I super glued it to the bottom of the little plastic pieces that are here, and it's pretty good. It's super glued and it works okay. Only if I probably slam on this, will probably fall off from the other side because I couldn't find a way to mount it on here. I'll probably have to do some mods that I didn't want to deal with it. But uh, just to give you an idea so how it works, so you hear a click, so um, that will just power everything on. You got the image, which is the Wolfenos 32 uh, gigabyte arcade image. I think this is what everybody's using for this, unless you want to go crazier. I got um, different um, boot up screens that you can change on your splash screens. I also formatted them 4x3 with handbrake. Uh, I cut you know, 240 from each side to crop them up for this monitor. And um, But yeah, as soon as it boots up, we'll see how it shuts down. You know, all the buttons are light up. We're good here. Uh, almost there, so everything's working good. I found that by shutting down, you just kind of hold it for about a second. Let's see, so let's see if it works. Let's see, yep, and it does. So, and it goes that, and you hear a click and everything is off. That's what I really wanted to do. Not just have the Pi on a standby off. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to do a quick video. Like I said, I don't do editing or anything like that. I just wanted to kind of throw out there the ideas that I have. And um, 
links for everything that I use is pretty much on the description. If you guys have any questions, probably just post them in the comments. Um, this is just how I have mine set up. But anyways, thanks for looking. Uh, and I hope everybody have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.